Oh, it's gonna be a bit awkward because I've never done anything like this before, but um, I've decided I'm gonna vlog my day. So every day I wake up at five. I don't know how well you can see, but it's still, the sun's only just coming up. Um, and yeah, we start our day with, by, uh, by working out, by training, and yeah, it's super epic. Uh, okay, bye. Okay, training for me is finished. I did more than what I showed. I just was lazy and didn't film it. Now, we have to train Buck, my dog, and um, we're trying to teach him how to do some tricks and shit and be a good boy like he already is. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. And then we gotta stretch. And Max is being in the week. Okay. okay, so now we're training Uncle. Sorry about the noise, my camera's fucked, but sit. Good boy, drop. No, sit. Drop. 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 Hey, you sit. Drop. Drop. Uncle, drop. No, boy, sit. Drop. You've done this before, mate. Come on. No. Sit. Drop, drop, no, drop, no, sit, drop, uncle, drop, good boy. So we just do that for a bit and then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to teach him to stay, but I'm a terrible dog trainer, so got a long way to go. Uh, I'm not going to lie, I forgot to record a bit. Um, we're in town now doing some shopping. I've just been helping Dad out, stuff like that. Um, when I get home, we've got a couple of jobs I've got to do. And then, um, and then yeah, should be back. We'll see what happens. Yalla. Hey, I'm not going to lie. This so-called vlog has not... I have not recorded jack shit today. I just took the bins up with the dogs and I've been up the driveway and quite honestly, it's been that fucking hot. Like, uh, yeah, it's been that fucking hot. I wanted to just enjoy the air con for a bit. Oh. Um, yeah, look, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what I expected. My life isn't that exciting. It's a bit boring, especially at the minute. Like, um, yeah, I've just been thinking a bit, but I don't know. I wanted to take this time. I don't. I don't fucking know. I don't know why I wanted to do this. I think it's because I have a shitty memory, so I wanted at least something to look back on as a kid. But part of me thinks as well. Like I'm not gonna lie. I've hit rock bottom at my life. Um, there's a lot of negative things going on at the minute, and the squid. It, <laughs> He's not coming out on top at the minute. He's not. Um, but I, I wanted to address as well. It's weird. This is going to be ramblings. I'll be 110% honest. I don't know what the fuck I was expecting. Some big convoluted speech. I can't do speeches. I don't talk very well. Um, but I, yeah, anyway, like I was saying, I've hit rock bottom. I don't think I could go much lower than this, and it's going to sound weird, but I'm kind of grateful for it, in a way. Um, 
I remember a couple months ago, I thought I was on top of the world. I thought I was a king. I thought I was a, I was a boss, you know. I, was, I had money. I had a woman. I had... Oh, mate. I was a fucking god, I'll be honest with you. I trained like something fierce. I was fucking on top. And now something's happened that we sort of knew was going to happen for a while. Um, but it happened, and then other stuff happened along with it that we were not expecting. And... I lost my job and I broke up with that girl and it just, yeah, I have nothing now and I'm trying to find something but it just, I don't know, people just don't give you a chance or they're looking for something else and that that's perfectly fine, I understand that but it just, I know, it's a bit devastating. Um, but yeah, I, I've hit rock bottom and the reason I say I'm kind of grateful, which look, if I'm honest, I have hit rock bottom, like I've just said three times, for fuck's sake. Um, but, like, it's, I'm, I'm lucky, because rock bottom for me isn't, it's not that bad, I'll be honest with you. It could be way worse. I could be on the street, I could be doing this, I could be doing that, but I, um, yeah, I've hit rock bottom, and it's not a nice feeling to hit rock bottom, but... I think I partly want to record this as well because I want to see, I want to see in 12 months time how I've changed, how my views have changed, if I can even do this, I'll be honest with you, like the only part of the reason why I wanted to do this because I have that much fucking free time on my hands because I can't find a fucking job, um, apologies for the swearing, it's terrible, but what do you expect, I'm an Aussie, you know, um, but yeah, and I said that I was grateful for being rock bottom. I, I kind of am because it's putting a lot of things in perspective for me. And I'm not going to lie. Although I said I felt like a king on the inside, you like a king of God a couple months ago. That's true. I did. But on the inside, you feel like shit. You don't. It's hard to explain. You just feel meh. But you live in the good life, you know. And I'm sort of grateful for this because it's put a lot of things in perspective for me and a lot of a lot of things I didn't really realize when I was on top of the world um, especially about people uh, a lot about people actually and yeah I I don't know it's weird like I don't yeah it's hard to explain like I know I'm gonna bounce back from this and it'll be awesome again but I th it's still going to be different. I realized that there were a lot of people in my life that just wanted stuff from me because I had stuff and I was willing to give it out. And I thought that they were sweet. But like I said, this this big thing that's happened to me, you know, it's part of the reason why me and that girl I was talking about broke up. It's, 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 it's It was a big ordeal. And... I sort of realized that the people that were claiming that they were going to support me, they're not there anymore. They were never there to begin with. They were only there because they knew that they could get something from me because I had something that they wanted. And yeah, it just, it's disappointing, but I'm grateful because it's also shown me a lot of people that were in my life not necessarily all the time, but they were in my life at one point or another. All of them have really come out of the woodwork and really shown me that... They've shown me what true friends are, I'll be 110% honest with you. And that feeling is so much better than the other feeling if that makes sense the feeling of yeah I had I had people around me and that was fun but they weren't there for me whereas these guys they're there for me 110 percent and it's sort of got me to appreciate them a bit more as well and yeah it's got me thinking a lot about life as well and I used to think I used to have really materialistic thinking like I used to watch a lot of Andrew Tate and a lot of a lot of other things about money and oh your worth is only your bank account number and blah 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 but I've, I've come to the conclusion that it's not it's not I I don't know how to put it I'm the happiest I've been in a long while and I feel like I have nothing and I don't know if I'm happy because 
I have nothing to lose or if I'm happy because I realized that this world, we're meant to share this world. And when you live life materialistically like that, you don't share the world. And if you do, you get trodden on you. What's that, what's that whole saying? It's lonely on top because it is, it's, it's quite interesting to me to think that. And be honest with you, going through what I'm going through and seeing everything and my change mentality, I would argue that I'm one of the richest men on the world right now. I would argue that because I no longer value money like I used to or value materialistic objects. I'm not saying it's not important. 110% it's important. I don't want to be homeless on the side of the street. But it's definitely got me to rethink a lot about life and my experiences and shit like that. And yeah, it's it's been a big eye-opener for me. Um, and I don't know, I just think I just wanted to record my thoughts right now. Um, that's about it. I hope, I hope some of those ramblings make fucking sense, but I highly doubt it. They're probably all just fucked up, but long story short, fuck all you money hungry fuckers. I'm the richest fucker in the world because I share my life with people who care about me. Yeah, bitch. Hello people, um, some time has passed. We're about to do the second training day, uh, the second part of training. But um, we've got to fit the pigs first. Uh, I thought that would be kind of interesting to show. Not much, you just fill it back it up and then uh, tip it into the pigs. And then it's all Gucci. Um, yeah, then we'll train, um, meditate, shower, eat dinner, go to bed. It's pretty chill. And then yeah, tomorrow we do it again. Hopefully tomorrow we get a phone call from an agency or something. That would be all right. There you go. Just in case you've never seen pigs be fed before, they're kind of cool. Um, the dogs are playing over there. So yeah, pretty epic all in all. But yeah. Uh, I'm about finished my 2K run. I got a sprint left to go. Um, the dogs come with me, which is nice. Um, I thought I'd talk a bit about training. I don't know, something that I know my friends have asked me about. Um, when I was first starting training, I sort of, like you always get in the mindset of, I could do better, I could do better, I could do better. Don't focus on that. Focus on what you've done. Focus on how far you've come. Don't compare yourself to anyone. And most importantly, I found with running, it doesn't matter how long it takes you, as long as you do it. The most important step isn't the one you're on or the one you finish on, it's the one you take next. Um, that's it, peace. Sorry for that noise again, but uh, this has just popped up, pretty epic. Um, just finished working out, meditated, everything like that. Now I'm gonna go have a shower, eat some dinner. So this will probably be the end of the vlog. I know it's probably just going to be a mashed up thing of video, but um, it might be all right. We don't know. See how I go at the internet. Anyway, yeah, peace out. Fucking homie's got homemade KFC.